The one in front of me is a three-phase socket and it's a 32 amp and it's five pin, meaning it's got a neutral as well. I'm doing it in the van just simply because inside the factory it's a bit noisy. So this is the lead, comes with the machine, it's a great big printer. And so yeah, this is the, the, the five core lead. It already comes with a an attachment built onto it. And this is obviously the a socket piece or a female end. And this bit goes, fits directly onto the printer itself. And then all I've had to do is come along and put on a socket to go into the three phase plug. Now we took a previous one off the machine, so we've just used this one. Just a couple of tips to think about. So when the cable was given to me, it had these ends on it. Now this is a Korean machine. It's already got sort of crimps onto the end. So sometimes it could be hardwired straight into the board, but in this case on obviously a male socket. So things to think about when you get these is obviously you've got to get the phases around the correct way. Now on the socket, it's already pre-wired. That has come with labels on the colours. And then on the other end, it's also came with cables. Now we're not going to be worried too much about the neutral and the earth. Obviously you know what those colours are. And again, the phase colours, the three phase colours being brown, black and grey normally being L1, L2 and L3 on the old colours, that's red, yellow and blue. But we're not working with old colours today, although there are old colours in the building. But instead of L1, L2, L3, brown, black and grey, they are labelled up R, S and T. Now that's something, I'm not actually sure what R, S and T stands for, but that is something that we do see quite often. And again, on this one, the one that they provide it with they have actually labeled r s and t and so basically that's just l1 l2 and l3 and if you look on the on the plug provided that also is l1 l2 l3 obviously neutral and earth is also connected however on the second hand one that we've put on that's not labeled up as l1 l2 l3 that is labeled up as r1 s2 and T3, I don't know if you can see that. So it's just something to be aware of. So, because it's sometimes can be a bit confusing. Another tip in order to not get too confused to make it a bit more simple is that you can actually with the covers off, so the covers off there and here, you can actually plug them in together and it just helps you to see that you've got things in line. So I can see neutral is in line with the neutral on here, the phases, L1, L2, L3 are also in line and so is the earth. So yeah, just a just a thing to think about. Stick that up there. So the other one that I did was a, a 63 amp socket. I haven't brought that out because that's actually attached to the machine. So I've just fitted a, a 63 amp three-phase socket to wire provided on one of the printers. And again from the same company, but this time obviously bigger cables because it's a bigger current load on it. Ignoring earth and neutral, and they are obviously just PE protected earth and neutral. In this case, previous, they were labeled up as RS and T. Now from the same company, they're labeled up as L1, L2, L3. So again, it can get a little bit confusing sometimes, certainly if you're not used to working with three phase. But again, it's just a logical approach to take to it Again, you can't get more logical than how I've done it there or actually more simple than how I've done it there. Again, if we was to teach how to do this, this is how I would probably say to do it if you're unsure. Um, if you've done loads of them, then it's just become second nature. But it's important to think about how you're doing it. I'm going to now provide this to the customer, to the, to the engineers that are installing the machine, and then I'm walking away. So I've got to be pretty confident that I've wired it up correctly. So keeping a logical approach like how I've done it here should help you.